Revelers, and welcome to the Peep Parlor for your weekly dose of video game tricks and treats. We're here to help, so step forward with any problems you might have, but please, nothing sordid. This is a family show. Is there an extra warp on sound on this mess? Whoa, this is just great. We're moving and grooving now. Peter Rapscallion here. And I would like to make a bit of a dedication. This walk on Starwing for the Snares is especially for the ladies. On the easy level, second stage is your flying crew. You'll see three. Die neue Nivea Duschmilch. Duschen wie gecremt. Then you'll be faced with three sets of five asteroids, and you must shoot all of them. A brown face will appear with a black hole. Go through this, and you'll be warped to another level. Have I finally arrived in time, then? Or should I say? Thank you. I keep running out of continues on Burn Up Commando on the next. Is there anything I can do? Yes, yeah, yeah. There is something, sunshine. Or should I call you Speedy Steve Hinkaps? I should be so lucky, 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 but fast runner with thee. You just wait. Once we've made some more evidence, you're going to be going down for life plus ten with good behaviour. Anyway, Bionic Commander. When you're running low, go back to the truck section on the game. Shoot in the commanders should reap extra continues, giving you a whole lot of extra fun. Now clear off my manner. Thank you. I'm always running out of lives on Star Wars on the enemy. Can you help me? <coughs> oh, <laughs> excuse us. <coughs> me and Spike were uh, out on the town last night, and I think we overdid it a bit, didn't we, eh? Yeah. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> To get some valuable extra lives on Tatooine, go to the cave in the top left-hand corner of the desert, once you have a lightsaber. Now, go down one level and make your way to the far left-hand side. If you look carefully at the wall, there is a dark area. Jump at this as it is a false wall. Now, select your lightsaber and defeat the foe blocking your path, and you will be rewarded by picking up two <coughs> extra lives. Now repeat this until you have a maximum <coughs> of 11 lives or until you get completely bored and go off and make yourself a nice cup of tea and a cat of meat sandwich. <coughs> All right? Thank you. Are there any extras and alien food for the Mega Drive? Yes, but first, a warning. Being a trainee stunt man, I do get the opportunity to spar with the stars, but do not go near Gloria Hunnaford when she's angry. She's a demon with the flying headbutt, as you can well see. Anyway, Alien 3. <clears throat> right at the start of the second level, fire at the oncoming alien, then jump up, left, through the gap in the wall. Here, you'll find a secret room. That's all. But remember, mind, body, weapon. Thank you very much. Can you help me get further on Dino Blaster on the Game Boy? Am I still not in the West Country then? Oh dear. Oh dear. Change the first letter of any password you have to an X. Now, when you play the game, you'll find you have lots of extra goodies and gold. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Well, I'm sorry. My game gurus are a bit high-spirited sometimes, but they do mean well. Next up, our first Videator Masterclass with His Holiness the Game Messiah and that wonderful roughhouse game, Soccer Brawl. What's the score, your worshipfulness? Welcome to my masterclass on the rather violent Neo Geo game, Soccer Brawl. Soccer Brawl! The teams are all about the same, so don't be fooled by the Koreans or USA teams. 
When it comes down to the crunch, all that matters is whether the two teams' colours are not too similar, in which case the game gets incredibly difficult. The stadiums make little difference, although the indoor one makes it easier to get your bearings and line-up shots. Each team has a star player. He's the one who hangs back and has a ponytail. Power him up and he'll let rip with the team's special shots. The best special shots are those by the Japanese and Korean teams, with their swirling whirlwind kick devastating against even the most competent goalkeeper. Always try long shots because there's always a chance of a goal, or a follow-up goal when the goalie drops a powerful shot. Be prepared for an overhead kick or diving header into the goal. By using these two moves, you're almost guaranteed a goal at corners. Never forget your power shot. It simply depends on how well the rival goalkeeper is playing. Line up the power shot just within the centre circle and blast. Don't forget to keep the goalies on their toes with ricochet shots. They're not the most devastating goal scoring opportunity, but they can surprise. Try shocking tactics. Off the ball, rough and tumble is vital. Shock the player on the ball close by and zap any defender behind him is an excellent tactic, and one which will weaken the opposition in no time. Forget about defence. Always par forward and go for goal. Goals are the name of the game after all, and goals are what you'll need. Follow these tips and you should find yourself to be an excellent player before long. Thank you, Ducky. Next is my favourite bit, our Hall of Fame, where we tip our hats to your outstanding moments of video game ecstasy. Get a load of this, lovies. Hello, my name's Stuart Chung and I am launching a new challenge for Sonic 2 from the Mega Drive because I can kill the evil self of Sonic at the end of the game in 15 seconds. When the evil self of Sonic comes down, move away to the left hand side of the screen and then when he lands, jump on his head three times and move out the way. When he gets up, hit him another three times. Got him. So there you have it. I killed the evil self of Sonic in 15 seconds by beating that. Not bad, eh? Now, if you can do better or have an unbeatable record, let me know at this address and we'll show you off to the nation. You've just got time to slip in a quick one-to-one -one session with the games mistress. You're the most tender adolescent. Step forward, please. Can't get past the train on level four for that man on the net. Can you help me get to the Well, I can but try. One handy technique on this level is to stay at the right of the screen as much as possible. This gives you more time to defeat the baddies and watch your back. After the first three characters, jump and kneel immediately as you land to avoid being shot. Keep going until you get to the mutants in the sled. To kill them, they must be facing you, and you need to catch them in the bank. Don't worry if they get too close for comfort. Back off and try again. Be very careful through this part, as the mutants can pop up anywhere. Okay, over the pipes on these carriages, and the goons with their rocket packs will start to attack you. You must take them out early, or you'll be in trouble, so be alert. When you kill them, be sure to collect your energy capsule. Eight of these, and you should be invincible as you complete the level. Only then you'll be ready to take on a real challenge, like me. Thank you very much. Isn't she lovely, that game's mistress? Just welcome back to my house of fun. My game gurus are eagerly awaiting your questions. So step up and fire away. I always die before I get anywhere and Bart's Nightmare on the Super Nintendo. What can I do? Oh, you can get me a bucket quick, mate. I had a bit of a dodgy kebab last night. 
Hands up. I'll tell you, I'm going to shoot. Uh, 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 oh, poor Lance. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Uh, he's mad. Oh, nightmares. Let me think. Oh, yes. Now, off the table, the first level, choose the yellow door. This leads to the retreat and scratch again. <coughs> Go to the lamp stage to dim out light. If you shoot the bubble, they should turn into a handy supply of extra light. We're off for a curry now, bite favourite. See ya. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I wish I playing super soccer on the big one. It's very special technique. I'm a bit of a show of myself. Watch this. But don't try that at home. I really don't care. Anyway, Super Soccer. The best way to score slick, spectacular goals is to use the Y button. Remember to swerve the ball too, as this will confuse the goalie no end. That's all. They don't call me Duncan Paul Gather Gascoigne Duncan. Very often. Thanks. How do I get into the Sixth Palace and Zelda 3? Oh, excuse me sometimes. I I must get my breath back. I've just been between Kate sparring with Victoria Wood. I didn't know she was a silly plain ninja. She just did a very nasty Chinese turn on me. I can tell you. Anyway, <clears throat> Zelda 3. Use the suit and walk to location 6. You'll land next to a rock. Pick this up and underneath it, you'll find a warped tile. This will allow you to go to Misery Mire, where you'll find the entrance to the sixth pallet. Okay, now remember, mind, body, weapon. Thank you very much. Well, you live and learn, don't you? Thank you, Dangerous. Next up is that exuberant character, Big Boy Barry. You know, you might not get it, but he's a sure hit with the ladies. A sort of latter-day Tom Jones, only bigger. Hi, Ratchet fans. Tonight it's time to get shooting and a slicing for my masterclass on Super Pro Vector for the Super Nintendo. Excuse me, are you Tom Jones? The first guardian is absolutely simple. Stand at the bottom left of the screen, blasting any flying alien. In between the pads, keep your legs cocked, which is his heart. When he shoots the tiny little shot, simply jump on the platform, then jump down, carry on. When you come across the big metal spider, firstly aim for its rear large jump, while constantly moving away. Eventually it will start to spin round. Back away, shooting all of the time, and turn away before it gets too close. Follow it again, shooting at all its clogs. After this, it'll disappear and rise up into the air, where it'll eventually try to crush it. Just keep running down while following upwards, aiming for the red spot. The giant skull at the end of level 3 can be a tough one. When you've attacked the pony in the run around the walls in a clockwise manner, jumping down when leaves come across the leaf pony. Perform the same when the robot attacks you with fire. Repeat this trick until he's dead. Avoiding the bombs now and again by popping into the top left hand corner. Sooner or later, you find yourself up against the huge flying battleship at the end of level four. Start by riding the top missile, all of the time shooting at the top skill generally, just jumping off before the missile hits you. Jump down to the bottom missile and destroy the bottom generator in the exact same fashion. After this, Jump between the middle two missiles while constantly shooting at the middle red engine until success is complete. The end of level guardian on level five is a huge biological creature. Shoot the tentacle while spatting away from it. Once all of the tentacles have gone, keep blasting the eye in the middle. Keep a steady finger on the top L button to make things easier for you. Next, you're on to the final showdown. It just happens to be your average mother alien. Once it's down to the brain, 
shoot the ball if you use it, or if defending offers the most in the way of giving. Don't just shoot anything, and you'll end up playing. Keep on pausing your choice until you get the easiest one by looking at buttons. The spicy one spits out many spicy balls, but also happens to give you plenty of power. Then all you've got to do is simply blast away to the plane, and eventually, bingo! Yep. Alright, action fan, that's all you're getting out of me on Big Probe stuff. I personally think it's more than enough, and if you follow these tips, you'll have it trapped within days. See you later! Right, it's about this time every week that I like to field some of your questions myself, particularly anything about the latest video game news, because I do like to keep you up to date. So please, come clean with your queries. My mates say there's a brilliant new system being launched in America. What is it like, Madam Pixel? You must be referring to the Turbo Duo. Well, it's pretty impressive. But if I were you, I'd wait to see if it's going to be officially released here first. Madam Pixel, is it true you can plug your barcode battler into your console? Oh dear, some people really try my patience. No, of course not, silly. What would be the point? Madam Pixel, I love the arcade game Mortal Kombat. Is it coming out on any console? Oh, that's one of Tony's favourites as well. I've had a sneaky look and I was very impressed. Keep your eyes peeled for the finished game at the end of the summer. Right, that's enough wisdom from me. But before we go, the game's mistress is ready for another session. So who's the next lucky young thing with a problem? I'm completely stuck on level two of Prince of Persia. Please help me go to the streets. Oh, you are a desperate soul, aren't you? Of course I'll help. At the start of level two, run left over the scrambling platform and kill the guard. Run left, then jump over the gap. Now climb up the first of the platforms you see after the gap. Then run left and jump over the next gap. Kill the guard and exit through the gate as quickly as you can. Right, drop down and kill the next guard. Go left again and kill the third guard you see. Then go left until you get to the large gap. Again, you must jump over it. Climb the first platform, go left and then up again. Walk down the two platforms and run across the one above the guard. This will activate the pad to open the exit door. Now go up and right to get to the exit. Now your frustrations should come to an end. Thanks for helping me. Thank you, Games Mistress. Now we'll get an update on our halls of fame. So, who's the next young genius? My name is Jonathan Chadwick, and I can get one minute, two seconds on the Mario Circuit 1 in the Mushroom Cup on Mario Kart. And this is how I do it. I chose the Donkey Kong character because he's faster than any other player, but he's got a slow start. In order to get the turbo boost at the beginning, you should press the button straight before the second line. You shouldn't really take your finger off the button in the Mario Circuit one because there's no point because it's such an easy course. So you might as well try and get the best time possible. You should take the corners sharply and jump at the end to get your grip back on the road. And also the traction is quite bad on Donkey Kong so you should jump after he skids around the corner. There's not much else I can tell you because it's quite an easy game, so you should just keep on practicing. So that's one minute and two seconds, and I don't think anybody will be able to beat that ever. Oh, brilliant! 
Now remember, if you're better than that, let me know. Great, Ali, it's not something you'd likely to get stuck on. But Cash Dash, you've played before, of course, and you did very well.